today we are with a homeowner series in GTA 5. We will be buying a few new sport cars, a new pickup truck, and a few trailers. I'm excited to be back here with a series in GTA 5. I've been getting quite a lot of requests lately to come back here, so today we'll be getting quite a lot of new things, and we'll be coming back here to this series once a week. Before we take a look here at all of the cards, I do just want to take a quick look at the pool. I want to make sure it's all cleaned, all ready to go, and probably at the end of today we'll jump in the pool. It's just under 100 degrees out here in LA. You guys can see very nice backyard. We do have the grass looks good as well we don't have to mow it everything looks clean and uh, we'll just check on the pool and the pool looks clean looks like the pool house the pool pumps everything's working out here as well and possibly we might be moving to a new house please let me know down below I found a new house with a 10 car garage and we could actually go inside the house and things like that and this helicopter uh, is ours and I think we'll be bringing it in for service but let's go take a look at our cars and uh, take a quick tour before we get started over here we have a 2016 Chevy Corvette Z06 and this is a C7. We have a 2016 Porsche 911 uh, 991 .1 GT3 RS. We have a 2017 Ford uh, GT. We have a Ford Raptor Super Cab 2016 model year, same color blue. Over here we have a 2020 Ford F350 Oxford White Crew Cab Dually King Ranch with a 6.7 liter power stroke. Now today we will be buying a Porsche, a Ferrari, a few trailers including an enclosed trailer to transport our cars to the track, uh, to the mountains, along with a dirt uh, bike trailer. And our camper is actually at the campgrounds already for the season and that's why we don't currently have it here. But why don't we come over here to the center of the driveway and we'll be using the native trainer to spawn these cars here. I really do like this quite a lot. It's, it's very easy to spawn and customize and all of those things. So we'll come over here and uh, we will spawn it. So here is the GT4. Now this does come in manual, which is awesome. And the our GT3 RS is the PDK, which I really do like quite a lot. And I think we will do it here in uh, the Porsche Blue. Now I do want to do a few changes here to how we park everything. I think we'll do that once we buy the Ferrari as well. I have gotten in quite a lot of requests to get like a Lamborghini, but I think a Ferrari would be better off here for the uh, channel and for the series here so we'll order the Ferrari and here it is you guys can see one sweet Ferrari here now I do want it in a uh, Ferrari red let's see if we can find that so many colors we could choose from I really do like all these different colors as well I think moving into a new house would be pretty cool for the series I like formula red that sounds pretty sporty as well Alright, so why don't we get started on moving our uh, sport cars into position. I actually just had this patio uh, built for us, and we'll be putting all of them back here. So we'll put the Ferrari uh, back here. We won't be using this too much as well, and it's just to really enjoy uh, when we do want to. But I think let's hop in the GT4, and we'll move these out of the driveway. Next up, we will be buying a Chevy Silverado. It's going to be a 2500 with the uh, Duramax engine, and we'll be using that for some pretty cool towing, and, uh, and that's going to be awesome. I'm not sure exactly how uh, to script uh, the uh, hitch on the back to work with the trailer, so if anyone knows how to uh, add the uh, line of script uh, to a modded add-on vehicle, let me know. Now, if I did have to choose just one of these vehicles uh, that I would have, it would be this GT3 RS. Definitely one of my uh, cars I do want to own in my lifetime. Very expensive, but one of the best ones, and I really do like the look of this. We'll get this parked up here. I do want all the front ends to line up as well. Now this GT3 RS is the uh, rear engine, the GT4 is the uh, min engine, that's a manual, automatic, you can actually see the difference there as well. We'll hop here in the Ford GT. We actually do have the realistic Ford GT doors and a pretty cool uh, first person view there. 
Now for this series, I do have some pretty cool ideas to come. Not only will we be buying new things, we'll take these to the track, we'll go off-roading with our Ford Raptor and different things uh, we'll have quite a lot of fun with. And how do we shut the door? It looks like the door does not want to close. Let's give it a try. And there it goes. It closes there, which is great. Now I did put the carbon fiber top back on this just because I don't really want it uh, not on when we aren't really driving it. And I think getting that new house will be pretty sweet having the uh, garage that we could go in and a house that we could go in. I think that, that will just add to the series as well. Let's hop in uh, these trucks now and move them. I do want to jump in the pool at the end of today and that's something we'll do. Now for the trailers, I do actually plan to kind of put them alongside this uh, garage. That way we don't really see them. Will be a bit tricky to do that uh, with how it's all laid out, but that will be good. If you guys would like to see more videos here with the series, please let me know. So both of these trucks will be great trucks. I'm not sure if I want to tow with the 2020 yet. Uh, and we do have to get the hitch all set up there. So let me know how do I get that working. But let's go over here and let's buy the uh, Silverado now. It would be pretty cool to go to the dealerships. That would be pretty cool. But uh, they are a pretty good distance away. And here's the Silverado. Almost uh, spawned right on top of the other ones. But I think that we are good here. Now what color do we want the Silverado? I think we'll save it first and we're just going to go through the colors. Maybe a silver would look nice or a dark red. I'm thinking we'll go with, let's go back one. I'm, yeah, I think we'll go with the dark red. That's one awesome color. And I think we'll come over here. We will spawn uh, the um, trailer, which is the dirt bike trailer. Now we do have a yacht as well, which is at uh, the marina, and I think we'll probably move the helicopter at the new house to maybe one of the local airports. But here's the dirt bike trailer. We got two dirt bikes on it for a great price. I think we got it total for just over 11000 We'll get backed up and attached to it. Now this is currently my only modded truck that is able to tow trailers, so if anyone knows, uh, please let me know. I think that this will be a bit tricky to kind of put around the side, but let's give it a try. Not g doing the best job on the lawn, but I don't really see that being a problem. And that was actually pretty simple. And actually putting them around back would be a great idea, but I think we'll just put it over here. Now one thing, this might uh, kind of despawn just because I didn't save the trailer. I'm not sure exactly how to save the trailers either, uh, but I think we'll uh, spawn the uh, enclosed trailer. It's a tri-axle. It's such a nice uh, trailer. We'll come over here, and it is pretty big. And perfect and it did spawn in the correct racing livery which is what I wanted we'll get this saved really quickly and I do just want to showcase what this trailer is we'll open all the doors open all doors you guys can see we'll take a quick look at this this thing looks so so cool so we got a few spare tires there for our uh, sport cars we got a nice tool chest over here nice wood flooring and this is just so cool to have in GTA 5 usually you can't really get these but let's hop back on the inside we'll get to all these doors closed and I'm just going to fix it I think that will be the best way to do this today's video is mainly just kind of getting back into uh, this series and we have to get out of the vehicle I think to do that let's kind of see we should be able to open just one of the side doors and let's kind of see so if we go up here to Let's see one of these, and we don't want to open that. Okay, so I know what to open, and it's a little bit of kind of getting used to it, but other than that, I'm excited to be back here doing these videos. Awesome, so we got those doors open. We'll be able to leave, and I'm not sure if they'll close exactly, but that's okay. Let's get it hooked to the Silverado, and that will be a pretty cool setup uh, to have. 
I really do like that red, and it almost goes along here with the silver auto. Now, one thing I'm already noticing, we do need to get Tomiers for this truck. That is something we're definitely going to have to look into getting. Now, I think the uh, 2020 so uh, the 2020 uh, Ford F350 will be the better candidate for towing this instead of using uh, this 2500. But for now, until I can get that script working, this. That will be what we'll use. We'll get it backed up, and this will be tricky. We do have steps there, but we are going to make it work right up and over those steps and alongside the uh, house, we'll put it. Now, actually, our camper trailer can uh, tow this as well, so I think that would be pretty cool to have that camper uh, tow it. But for now, you guys can see, I think we'll leave it attached there to the truck. That looks so, so cool there. But I think now, you guys can see we got our two trailers, a new truck, and the two sport cars. I think we should probably take the Ferrari out for a spin. But we'll come over here really quickly and just, uh, I want to go back here all the way to the back of the property and just take a quick look. So with this series, we do have quite a lot of money, and it's just meant to have quite a lot of fun. And let me know down below in the comments, guys, with kind of a yes, or should we do it if we should uh, get that brand new house. It is uh, nice looking, and this has a great view of this little uh, body of water, but I think getting that new house would be awesome. Now I am switching between third person and first person quite a lot and I don't see a problem there but just take a look at the back of this house it looks so so cool but the new house is more modern as well not just kind of this older uh, style but still very nice looking. It's time to take the Ferrari out for a quick spin and really enjoy uh, the Ferrari. So let me know down below what we should do here with this series. I do want to go to the dirt track, go camping, uh, take out these four cars and really, really enjoy them. But take a look at that lineup. That is so, so cool. Really do like that quite a lot. We'll hop in the Ferrari and we'll head out. And we do have a working tachometer there, which is nice. The one thing is we'll use the uh, lift. We'll just slowly drive her around. We do need it to be a little bit bigger as well. This looks so, so cool. I can't wait to give it a try. We actually do live on a pretty big roundabout street here, which is pretty cool. I really do like the look here of this, and if you guys would like, we could definitely get a Lamborghini, probably a Huracan or a Performante or something more rarer I think would be cool. But I definitely am more of a fan of the Porsches and this Ferrari only. Uh, I'm a big Porsche guy, big uh, fan of the Ford uh, performance with the Focus RS, the uh, GT500, GT350, and the Ford GT, along with the Raptor. So I think we might get probably the new uh, 500, but you guys can see out on these mountain roads, really enjoying this. And one thing we will definitely be doing will be a camping trip, really, uh, going to the mountains. We could actually see a car there. We'll pull a U-turn and we'll head back. Getting a little sideways there, having quite a bit of fun. Looks like we are behind a GT4 here, which is pretty cool. Now, the majority of the vehicles that we have at our house are add-on mods, so we don't see them driving around, and I'm only able to spawn them, but some of these I did just replace, and that's kind of why you see a few driving around, but we made it back here, and there's a Ram 1500 driving by there, but that's pretty cool. Now, one thing I did notice, that door, I really wish we didn't have to drive through that door uh, with these very nice cars, but we'll get the uh, car fixed from those few scratches that didn't make there and we'll get it parked up. We 
we'll put the Ferrari back over here. But you guys, since the overall today was a great day, our first day really getting back here to the series in GTA 5. I can't wait for all the upcoming videos here, getting to use these four cars and also uh, getting to use these trucks, especially this Silverado towing. And if you do know how to uh, add the one script needed to uh, have this truck tow this trailer, let me know. I definitely would like to have this... Uh, 350 dually towed instead of the 2500 but they are still great setups and i can't wait for all the upcoming videos thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more